going to do is start by bench bleeding our master cylinder. And we went ahead and used our vise and we were able to clamp the other side ear in the vise to hold it in place here. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up our reservoir cap. Pop that off and set that aside. There are caps right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. In our case, we have made up some brake line tubes, and these are designed to go in, thread into our master unit here. And this is gonna assist us in getting the air bubbles out of the system so we can bleed it properly. Now in doing this here, we're gonna make sure that our lines go deep enough down into where we can have some fluid. We don't wanna be sucking up any air and adjust those in there. Let's go ahead and tighten these two knots down. We're going to use the designated brake fluid. It's going to be a DOT4 for our application. I want to go ahead and add fluid in here. want to make sure that you add enough fluid so that as you're getting the air bubbles out of it, it doesn't suck any air out of there. So make sure that your fluid is probably about halfway up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work this plunger in and out, and this is going to work the air bubbles out. We're going to watch the bubbles come up through the reservoir. Now what we're going to use is the handle of a screwdriver. We're going to use something you know, round or smooth. You can use a broom handle if you want or something rubber. I don't want to use the end of the screwdriver because, well, that can mark up this in here and you don't want to damage that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold this here. You want to slowly go ahead and apply pressure and start to work this here. You want to make sure you're wearing safety glasses when doing this because you're going to have fluid possibly spraying out, little bubbles, so you want to be careful with that. At this point here, we're not getting any more air bubbles really coming through. So it's safe to say that we've successfully bench bleeded our unit. At this point here, we can safely go ahead and bend up our lines here. Going to install our cap here so we can safely maneuver this unit over to the vehicle without spilling fluid. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our reservoir here and pop this cap off. Set that aside. Now I'm going to use a suction tool to go ahead and pull out some of our brake fluid here. This is just going to make it cleaner and easier for us to handle this. All right, with that fluid emptied out, let's go ahead and remove our catch can, set that aside. Now at this point, we have drop cloths everywhere. The reason is, is that we, when we remove our 
unit from the vehicle and it has brake fluid in it. We don't want to drip that on the paint as we remove this from the vehicle. Also want to have a catch can set aside. That way, once you remove this, we can go ahead and put it right into the can. You don't want to have this sitting on the ground and letting the fluid seep out everywhere. We're going to go ahead and use our 9 16 wrench and we're going to loosen the nuts on our brake lines here. And go ahead and open these up. Using a 15 millimeter socket and extension, let's go ahead and remove the remove the nuts on the back side here. one on the other side here. Let's go ahead and get that off. Go ahead and pull this unit straight forward, slip it out. Go ahead and set this unit in the catch can. You want to inspect the inside of the booster right here. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and get our new unit installed. Yeah, let's go ahead and slip this down and into place. Now that we have those nuts back in, and let's go ahead and snug down the nuts here. Now at this point, we can go ahead and we'll get our lines installed. Go ahead and loosen these a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and work on the rear line first.
Make sure that is nice and snug. I'm gonna give this wipe. Let's go ahead and move to the forward line here. And you wanna be kind of quick while doing this here because you don't want that fluid to leak down too far and empty out and then you can introduce air into that system again. We don't want that to happen. Time to go ahead and do a complete wipe down. Next, we're going to go ahead and pop open the reservoir cap. We want to make sure that our fluid is topped off. So on the tank itself, you're going to be able to find high marks and a minimum amount. So you want to make sure that that fluid is there. At this point here, you want to go ahead and add accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and top off our system here by getting that cap popped on. Give everything a good thorough wipe down. Then go ahead and remove all your towels and rags. Now that we're installed, you want to go ahead and bleed your brakes. Once that's completed, double check the pedal, and then come out here, open up the cap, double check the fluid, add it as necessary. At that point there, you should be good to go.